Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margarita and today I'm here to bring you an outrageous book haul. I should not have bought this many books, but I have no self-control and I have three different parts. One of them I don't feel bad about because they are books that my friend Maya got for me. So those I feel pretty good about. I did not purchase them. But then I have a really big book outlet order and I also have books from when I visited Maya in California. We went to a lot of secondhand bookshops and independent bookstores and also a couple independent bookstores and secondhand bookstores in my own area. So, you know, you buy a book here, you buy two books there. Before you know it, you have like 20 books and you're trying to focus on your own TBR. So what happened, Margarita? I have no answer. So let's just get into the book haul. So let's start with the books that I feel good about because I did not purchase this, them myself. Like I said, my friend Maya was so kind and so sweet to buy me these books. So the first one that I have to talk about I'm, is probably what I'm most excited for because it is um, The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safon, but this is the Penguin Drop Caps edition and it's absolutely stunning and I love it so much and like the edges are sprayed and I just it's one of my favorite books no it is my favorite book and I absolutely love it and I'm just so thankful to her that she got this for me it's gonna look gorgeous on my rainbow bookshelf and it's just everything I want and thank you so much Maya the next three books that she got me are all books in the same series and that is the Expanse series by um, James S.A. Corey. So the first one is Leviathan Wakes. I have already read this so I'm not technically adding it to my TBR but the next two I am and that is um, Caliban's War and Abaddon's Gate. These things are chunkers like these are over 500 pages. Actually I feel like they should be over more more than 500 but they are absolutely wonderful. They're um, space opera-esque um, following all kinds of people. So I don't, I don't know how to give a really good synopsis, but it's really good series. I really enjoyed the first one um, and I'm excited to have the next two physically in my own library because when I check these out from the library, I get really anxious because there's no way I can read that in three weeks. So those books, I did not purchase. I feel great about. Let's next get into the book outlet haul because it's a stack. The first book is Freedom from Toxic Relationships, Moving on from the Family Work and Relationship Issues that Bring You Down by Avril Carruthers. Carruthers? I don't know. You can, is the light gonna, you can't see it. But this is a, a nonfiction, basically about toxic relationships and how to get out of them and I think it's going to be important so I want to read it and see how it goes. The next book that I have is The Awakened Woman Remembering and Reigniting Our Sacred Dreams by Dr. Tarari Trent and this is a woman I believe that she was on Oprah and basically in her where is she from? Zimbabwe. She was a young girl in a cattle herding village in Zimbabwe and she was sent to marry this man and I think by the age of 18 she had like four children already and all of her hopes and wishes and dreams were pushed to the wayside because of that but she decided you know I want to be the person that I want to be so she's now she now has her PhD and it's about her story and I'm very excited to read it. I think it's gonna be great. Hopefully we'll see. <coughs> Sorry, allergies are horrible. The next book that I got is Pippi Longstocking by Astrid Lindgren. And this is the Puffin Chalk edition. And it's so cute and so small. It's like the size of my head. Um, I've never read Pippi Longstockings, but I saw it there and I thought, you know, I want to read middle grade. I'm reading a lot of new middle grade. I want to read like the classics. So pick this up. The next book that I got along that vein is Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I've never read Peter Pan. This is also the Puff and Chalk edition, which these are absolutely stunning, like gorgeous. Um, 
but I am also planning on doing a couple video series about retellings and Peter Pan is obviously a retelling a, a book that gets retold a lot so I wanted to read the original source material and I'm really looking forward to it I'm hoping that it'll be good the next book that I have is a little bit strange maybe and it is The Salmon Who Dared to Leap Higher by Anne Dohyun and this book is absolutely stunning I don't know if you can tell but this like blue is foiled it's gorgeous um and this is translated who is it trans he's an award-winning Korean poet and it's a translated work and I saw it there and it kept catching my eye so I figured I'd take the plunge and buy it especially for book outlet prices I mean they're dirt cheap um but basically this is about a salmon who is looking beyond you know just swimming upstream and I'm really excited to read it I hope that it goes really well <laughs> um the next book that I have is Finding Wonders Three Girls Who Changed Science by Jeannie Atkins and as this says, this is a middle grade book that about three women, um, Marie, Marianne, Mary Anning, and Maria Mitchell. Don't know anything about any of those women, so I'm excited to read this, learn some more about awesome women in history. We need more of that. The next book that I bought, I'm not gonna lie, what pulled me in at first was the cover. And that is The Polar Bear Explorers Club by Alex Bell. Does this not look so whimsical and wintry and frosty I just love it so this is a middle grade book about you know this polar bear explorers club I don't know more than that but I I, have to, I love it I wanted it so I bought it that's it that's the whole story the next book is trail of lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse and this is a post-apocalyptic um, urban fantasy but focused on Native American mythology which just sounds so amazing and so awesome I've heard wonderful things about this so when I saw it there I just had to get it <coughs> and this is the first book in a series so hopefully I love it and I continue on with the series the next book that I have is Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson this is the next book in her I don't know the name of the world but um the remnant chronicles world it's in that same world and this is a new series and I'm just I love the remnant chronicles so I picked this up I figured I would like it along the lines of the remnant chronicles I did not have the first book kiss of deception so I bought it in paperback I love paperbacks more than hardbacks I'm sure that's an unpopular opinion <coughs> sorry allergies but um I had the last two, not the first one, so when I saw it there, I picked that up also. The next book that I got was actually a mistake. I picked up a couple books for my mom, and I thought this would be one for her, but it's not anything that she would want. It's called The Revolutions by Felix Gilman. I thought this was nonfiction. It's not. It's fiction, and I don't really know what it's about, so I might read it. I might not. We'll see what happens, but I now own it. <laughs> the next book that I have is Music of Ghosts by Vaddy Ratner. This is another um, middle grade book. I'm very into middle grade at the moment, so I picked up a lot more for when I'm in these moments. And um, years after fleeing Cambodia as a child refugee, Tira returns to her homeland carrying a letter from an old musician who may be able to shed light on her father's disappearance. Sounds good. You know what I've noticed in young adult or not young adult in middle grade books fathers disappear all the time where are they going why are you guys always disappearing most of the books that I've read recently or the synopsis is the dad's disappearing somewhere interesting along that lane or that vein that vein um is smoke and mirrors by K.D. Halbrook look how just a moment look how gorgeous this is again this cover drew me right in this is another middle grade book and it's about this girl who is born in the circus or the cirque excuse me um <clears throat> and her family performs there and one day she decides she wishes that she were just normal and that you know she didn't have to live in this world and blah 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 so smoke comes and takes her family away i think specifically her father so she has to go out and change what she just did so 
sounds very interesting. I'm super excited. I'm hoping to love it. So all of the next books are just from all over the place. Like there's nowhere in particular they're from. So let me talk about the first two because they're by the same author. The first one is Any Duchess Will Do and then The Governess Game by Tessa Dare. I've read this one, have not read this one, but I really enjoy Tessa Dare's um, historical romances. So when I saw them for really cheap, I was like, you're coming home with me. I don't own you yet. The next book that I have is Black Powder War by Naomi Novik. This is the third book in her Temeraire series. I have the first, second, and fourth book, but I didn't have the original trilogy. So when I saw this, I was like, heck yes, need to buy. Not that I need an excuse to buy a book. Have we learned that by now? The next book that I picked up was Heidi by Johanna Speary. And this is the beautiful Puffin and Bloom um, edition. Absolutely stunning. I also have Anne of Green Gables in this edition. Love them. They're so stunning. Um, I've never read Heidi. And again, I want to read the classic children's literature. So here we are. And having a cover like that does not hurt things. The next book that I have is We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what this is about. This is in the Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition. Um, it's actually really cool and creepy and eerie. But I'm pretty sure that she's like known for like horror and like creepy stuff. So I picked this up. I thought I'd give it a shot. See what happens. The next is The Witch of Willow Hall by Hester Fox. Fun fact, I saw this at the secondhand bookstore and I was like, that looks kind of interesting. Let me look it up on Goodreads. And when I looked it up, I had already added it to my um, TBR like a while ago. I had seen it and I was like, I want to read that. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, clearly I want to read it. So let me get it. This is basically about, I think it's like, I don't know what it's about, but it, it has like darker gothic creepy vibes to it I think all for it totally love it if it's anything like the silent companions like with that creepy feeling I'm gonna be all over it the next book is my cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier I've heard really good things about her I believe this is another like really creepy book don't really know but I saw it there for cheap and I thought I'll give it a shot why the heck not then I have the snow child by Ewan Ivy I have her second book already and I've heard wonderful things about this, about her as an author, and I wanted to read this one. So when I saw it, I definitely wanted to pick it up. Um, this is about um, a couple in 1920 Alaska who want a child, and I think one day they go out and they build a snowman, and it turns into this child. So I think that's what it's about. It's gonna be whimsical. It's gonna be great. I wanna read it so bad. And then the next, I have two more books and then we're done. The next book is Freaks by Annette Curtis Claus. And I actually picked this up because when I was a teenager, she was one of my favorite authors. She wrote um, Blood and Chocolate, which is my favorite book from my childhood. <laughs> I actually, if I brought that book out, it would be shocking to you. It is in such disrepair because I read it probably a hundred times, not an exaggeration. So I remember that so much that I really wanted to read this. This is going to be freaky. It's going to be weird. It's about a circus and it's about this kid who keeps dreaming about this girl and he can't tell what's real and what's not. And I'm all for it. Like, heck yes, please. And the last book that I picked up is The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogene um, Hermes Gower. And this is... A historical fiction and set in 1785 and I just have heard really good things about it and I saw it and I just wanted it I wanted it and I wanted to be able to read it in my own time have no restraints so I picked it up those are all of the books that I got it is ridiculous now I have to find places for all of these books on my bookshelves which are already jam-packed somebody help me <laughs> somebody take away my credit card and my cash and my will to buy books until I finish my TBR. So those are all of the books. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books, your thoughts and opinions on these books, and which of these books you are most excited to have me read and tell you about soon. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!